Hi everybody, I'm Caitlin Classing, and I am here with the owner and breeder of the lovely TGS Lion Sunshine, uh, Ann O'Donnell of Top Gun Stables. And Ann, it's so lovely to be able to speak to you face to face because I'm up here in Virginia and you're down in Texas. So That's my right. first question for you has to be, all the way down in Texas, what got you interested in breeding Irish horses? Well, I was a complete stranger to the Irish draft breed until we bought my daughter, who was in ninth grade, um, a seasoned Irish draft sport horse mare for, to start her eventing career. Mm -hmm. And this horse had been an eventer, and she had Seattle Slough in her damn sires line. Mm -hmm. So when a friend of mine who also breeds Irish sport horses here in, in Texas, told me about Sea Lion. I looked at his pedigree and I went, wow, he's got Sea Lion in his uh, sire's top line. Mm -hmm. So I thought this must be an omen here. Yeah. And went on and researched about Sea Lion, thought he would be an excellent match for my purebred Irish draft mare. Uh -huh. And, um, so that's how we came to, you know, to do the breeding. The Irish draft, for those who aren't really familiar with the breed, is um, on the endangered kind of list for extinction because of its past history in Ireland as being a workhorse and then, you know, the war and all of this sort of thing. So the numbers are just now coming back. And I felt a real strong tie to the Irish draft and um, some of their breeders, mainly on the East Coast, when I went to an endangered breed conference in Lexington, Kentucky, which was probably, gosh, I think 2008. So I met a breeder, met more than one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, this is, you come and, and you, you're you so um, involved in what they're saying and, and you learn so much about this breed. And this lovely woman I met had a weanling on the ground mm -hmm. and that turned out to be Rooney's dam. Mm -hmm. I bought her uh, at six months of age, had her shipped here. And so she was really my foundation. She is my foundation broodmare and we call her Roxy. Mm -hmm. She's a 17 one hand chestnut mare with the flaxen mane and tail she's gorgeous uh and so the the pairing with her the breeding with with roxy and with sea lion gave me what i was having my fingers crossed uh to get a really nice irish draft sport horse mare to be my future sport horse you know part bred breed brood mare but that's way down the line for Rudy, so she doesn't have to worry about that don't tell her i told you so <laughs> No, I'll, I'll keep that secret because she's definitely enjoying her work here. So it sounds like your introduction to the breed came through your daughter and then you were right. wanting to kind of carry on that um, legacy that really her horse created for you of a really solid eventing type of horse. So then yes, can you yes. talk to me a little bit about you had Rooney's mother and you decided you saw that Seattle slew from Sea Line that that would be a good pairing. Um, did Rooney turn out kind of as, as expected and as hoped so far? <laughs> she did. She's got, uh, I think having never met Sea Lion in person, only, you know, speaking with, um, his past owner and all of his attributes, I can see she got a lot from him. He obviously stamps his offspring with his presence. Mm -hmm. And I think Rooney has his presence yes definitely she's um solid bay just like he is mm -hmm. uh she's intelligent and she's willing as i've heard sea lion is as well and he you know was a, a champion eventer uh hunter you know he vented with pam mm -hmm. fisher uh internationally and the story goes that she promised him if he would take her to Rolex, which at the time was a four star, mm -hmm. that she would let him retire from competition and become, you know. Yes, I think I've read that as well standing. somewhere. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, stallion. So he did and they did and she did. And so, mm -hmm. you know, off, off that goes with that story. But yeah. um, Rooney, I think when, when I first saw, watched her, 
compete. Uh, she is very elegant. She has a presence. Mm-hmm. And um, she's all business when she gets off the trailer, if she's been to the venue or not. She knows her job. Mm-hmm. And that's very important, uh, I think, especially bringing along a youngster that they get introduced to different scenarios, different places off the farm. Mm-hmm. It helps helps them become a better all-rounder. Uh, yeah. She's forgiving of the handler or the rider's <laughs> miscues, we will call that. We won't call them anything else. But she's, she's a, I think she's a quick learner and she has a sense of humor. Yes. Which, no matter human or equine, you need to have a sense of humor in life. Yeah, no, when you sent me the pictures of her as a foal, I was struck by... She really doesn't look a lot like her mother. She takes after sea line a lot in her physical appearance, but I think you and I have discussed how similar she is to her mom in personality. And can you speak to that a little bit? How right. they're like mother, like daughter. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, I I say Roxy is uh, very involved in the day to day operations at the ranch. Mm-hmm. She wants to see, be where she can see what's going on. And Rooney is also very interested in, in what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, Roxy has, from a training standpoint, we brought her up in Future Event Horse just to, to for the experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, she did carriage driving school. She did hunters and dressage. But the thing she liked the most was the change day to day, something different. And I see something new, a challenge, so to speak. And I see that in Rooney as well. Yes. So I, th- I think that's, that's very good. And um, I will tell one funny story about Rooney. Last April, we took her to a venue about an hour from here for a little cross country schooling. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a long, you know, trip. So we get there and we open the door and look at Rooney and she has her right front leg in the feed major. <laughs> and she's standing there on three legs and she looks at me. She goes, well, get me out of this predicament. Yeah. I don't know how it happened, but I want, you know, <laughs> you to help me. And she was very calm about it. I can imagine. And when, you know, when I thought about it afterwards, that's that's a sign of intelligence to me because she didn't freak out. Yeah, she just looked to the person who came to her and said, "Help me out here." Yes, yes. So we can definitely appreciate that now that she's sort of begun her training with us. Um, those personality traits of her mom, where she likes to have the challenge, likes to be mentally occupied, are definitely coming through. Um, but as is her intelligence, which. Um, is such a pleasure to work with. So um, I think she's hit the nail on the head between your um, mother and father. What you've created is certainly a really spectacular young horse. So as we wrap this up a bit, what would be kind of your ambitions for Rooney? What's What would be, obviously you've said down the line that maybe she could be um, a mare that you would use in your breeding program, but between here and there, what do you see as your dreams for her as her breeder? Well, the the reason I selected this um, futurity program, so I read about it and I really liked how the individual professionals such as you and Dan mm-hmm. bring the horses along as an individual. Mm-hmm. And that's very important. I don't think that one size fits all when you're training horses or when you're raising your human children. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody has a personality and everyone approaches things in a different way. So t- to give her the flexibility to see what she's capable of, which I, I, I see great strides in just what she's done thus far with you and Dan, and I'm very happy with that. But I'd like for her to go up the levels as far as you all think she is capable of Mm -hmm. and just to be a happy all round good citizen Mm -hmm. and enjoy her work. And I think that that, that, that's, that's very important Uh, not to rush her. And if she has a little oops and have to take some back steps, well, that's fine. You know, she's just four years old. So hopefully she's got a long, healthy, happy uh performance career and where that takes her 
you know, it's it's an individual with yes. her. Yeah, for sure. And Whatever's is, good for her is good for yes. me. Yes, she's a very talented lady, and I think Dan and I are so grateful and excited to sort of be a part of her journey and to help represent your breeding program um, and hopefully give Rooney just the best start in this really exciting sport that we can because she certainly from the sounds of it is made for it so right really well, I, I hope so I, I i think that she is in the right setting and the right uh, professionals uh, to bring her along i think she'll do well she's she's certainly done well so far yes so. well we would second your ambitions and um be very hopeful for her future so and it's been such a pleasure to chat with you about her and hopefully to give everybody a little bit of insight into your program, um, okay. why the Irish horses, and a little bit about Rooney and her personality. So as we go forward, we really um, want to keep everybody up to date on her training, the highs and the lows, um, sure. and sort of show everybody her progress throughout the year. Okay. Okay. Well, it's great speaking with you, too. Yes. And as I always end my... Uh conversations when I'm talking about my horses. I say, go green, right Irish. <laughs> That's great, Anne. Thank you so much.